It's Fire Prevention Week and we want to test your knowledge. All smoke alarms should be replaced every... Oh, oh, I okay. know. Okay. Your choices are 15 years, 10 years, 5 years, or 1 year. The answer is every 10 years. So you might want to check your smoke alarms at home and figure out when they need to be replaced. I believe that's the smoke alarm and not the battery. So you know, and I was thinking it. battery, so I, I would have got that wrong. Okay. I would have had to... The actual device should yep. be replaced. Okay. We're spending the morning at the Ashkosh Fire Department to see what it has planned this week. Emily Dean is live with more. Hi, Emily. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. We are at Station 15 out here with the Oshkosh Fire Department. National Fire Prevention, we actually kicked off on Sunday, and we are out here to teach you how to stay safe. I have John Holland, who is here with me with the fire department, and look at CJ, who is all suited up. This is what the firefighters wear when they're going out to fight these fires. And we really want to get quick to, John, you have been going out in the community all month. Tell us what you've been doing out in Oshkosh. Um, we have been every Everywhere, which is great. Um, mainly the elementary schools for now. We have been going doing classroom presentations. We have our safe house where kids get to climb out the window, um, look for hazards in this little house. They come here for tours. In fact, we got a couple of them today. And in fact, tonight we're, we're doing our main push, and this is um, smoke detector giveaways. Um, we're going in a neighborhood in Oshkosh and giving out free detectors and putting them in. So we're, we're pretty busy this week. Now, um, CJ's here, he's all geared up. CJ, if you can turn around for us, look at this oxygen tank that he has. John, I mean, tell us about the gear these firefighters are wearing. The gear they have on, first of all, it's not an oxygen tank. Oh, it's not, I apologize. It's, it's an air tank, never mind. Oxygen tank on the back of a firefighter is a bomb. Air tank, <laughs> I'm sorry. Air tank. Uh, <laughs> couldn't resist. Um, all the gear he has on, um, the boots, the pants, the coat, everything is pretty much fire resistant, um, nothing is fireproof. With all this stuff on, he weighs about 80 extra pounds. So wow. it, it, it's, he is slogging through a fire, it's like carrying a kid on your back the whole time you're in there. Now, I know something was just going off before. That is actually for a helpful thing, right? Tell me about yes, that. Yes, it is. Um, this thing right here, this is called a pass device. And what it does is if CJ doesn't move for 30 seconds, it'll start going off like you heard before. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're in a burning building and you're not moving at all for, <laughs> there you go. for 30 seconds, you're in trouble. Yeah. Okay, and he can also make it go off by himself at inopportune moments like he, <laughs> like he like did. There. So like there. Um, when he's in trouble, you can just push it as well. And it means help me because it's very yeah. hard to see in a fire. The smoke is very, very black. All so. right. John, CJ, thanks so much for being with us this morning. We're going to be here all morning with the Oshkosh Fire Department telling you how you can stay safe during Fire Prevention Week. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Sam.